You are one of those lucky folks who's headed to New Orleans for the game. There are many things that you can enjoy out there, even beyond bas basketball, of course. So we're joined live from New Orleans by Mary Beth Romig. She's the Assistant Vice President of Public Relations for New Orleans and Company. Mary Beth, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm, I'm in my kitchen right now getting ready to head on down to work after we talk. And we are so excited to welcome all the fans coming in from North Carolina, Kansas. It's, it's great. We're, we're just so excited for the weekend. I can only imagine we're actually showing this beautiful live picture over the city of New Orleans right now. Y'all are looking like you all have some really good weather in store. Not so great well, over here. Yeah, but. we had a rough night last night, but we made it through and the sun is up and it's going to just be a fabulous weekend here in New Orleans. Well, like you said, because the sun is up, what is that energy kind of like ahead of this final four? Because I mean, I'm sure everybody's excited. We are thrilled. You know, we actually have been working toward this weekend for a very long time. And, you know, it's even sweeter because, of course, the game was canceled. Uh, Final Four weekend was canceled in 2020. And then last year, it was scaled back tremendously. But now we're at full force here in New Orleans, and we think we're the per perfect host city. Everything's still walkable. The Superdome is just blocks away from all the major hotels in the French Quarter, downtown in the Warehouse District. Everything is centrally located, so folks can walk around, go from uh, event to event, and not have to get in a car and drive. It's just the greatest host city in the world, and now we have great weather for it. I know you're just speaking about how everything is so centrally located and people can kind yeah. of walk in around and get really that atmosphere. So can you kind of speak on some of those exciting things that people can get into this weekend, even if they're not going to the Final Four games? So if you're not going to the Final Four, there's plenty of watering holes to watch the games and great sports bars all downtown. Um, but we, we have some great activities planned around the Final Four. So starting tomorrow, we have uh, the Capital One Fan Fest in the Morial Convention Center. And then we have a music festival out at Waldenburg Park, which is this great green space right on the Mississippi River. And then, of course, um, Big Dribble on Sunday. We have... Final four practices tomorrow in the Superdome. So that's free and open to the public. People can watch the um, four teams practice. And then there's the all-star game after that at 3.30 in the afternoon here in New Orleans. And then on Sunday, there's also the historic black college and universities all-star game taking place at the University of New Orleans. So there's wow. no shortage of basketball related <laughs> activities. But then again, you can also take in the great sights and sounds of New Orleans itself from streetcar rides to um, the new view, view Orleans, which is on top of the Four Seasons Hotel, mm -hmm. giving you a 360 view of the city. Um, there's all the great places to go in the French Quarter and the Warehouse District. The World War II Museums down in the Warehouse District. We've got a couple of other museums. The Aga Museum of Southern Art is a great place to visit. Lots of music clubs, Preservation Hall, so much to do. I can only imagine, and the only thing that I'm asking you, Mary Beth, is that you save me some beignets because I've not been to New Orleans yet. Just grab some from Cafe Du Monde, maybe ship them over here to North Carolina <laughs> so I can enjoy some. They might, they might be a little soggy but by the time they get there, but we can send you a, a, a box of the, um, <laughs> you can make them up yourself. And if anybody wants to do that, they can cook them up on Saturday and eat them while they're watching the game wherever they are across America. You can do the same thing with jambalaya, gumbo, mm. make it yourself, uh, throw yourself a New Orleans themed party while you're watching the game. I think that's a fantastic idea. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, everybody at home, you can find out more information on all the things that you can do in New Orleans this weekend and beyond. And that, that website, excuse me, is on your screen now, neworleans.com.